In this video, let us try to understand about the Himalayan rivers. So what are the significant uh, information related with Himalayan rivers or what are these Himalayan rivers? Let us try to understand that. So Indus, Ganges and Brahmaputra together make up the Himalayan river system. So three important rivers are there. They are Indus, Ganges and Brahmaputra. So if you look at these rivers and all these rivers are having their own tributaries also. All these constitute the Himalayan river system. So let us try to understand what is the Indus river system. Okay. Indus river is having a length of 2900 kilometers. Okay, so now on an average, the length is 2,900 kilometer and it originates in the Manasarovar Lake, okay, near to Tibet. It originates in the Manasarovar Lake and enters India in the Ladakh region, okay, Jammu and Kashmir. In the Ladakh region, this, uh, um, the, the Indus River enters India and it ends near the Karachi at the Arabian Sea. So, which is in Pakistan. So, it is actually flowing towards Pakistan only. And it is one of the longest rivers in the world. Okay. Why? Because it is not the longest river in India. Because ma majority of its uh, course, okay, you can actually see it in the, uh, the Pakistan region. So, that is why we are not uh, taking it as the longest river in India. The longest river in India is Ganges. Then, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Satlaj, Bias, Shayok, Nubra and Saskar are its major tributaries. Okay, So these are the important tributaries of uh, the Indus river system and that actually makes these tributaries makes the river more um, uh, large and uh, volume, voluminous in, in, in case of the, uh, the, the, the water capacity also. So that is why that is the importance of tributaries. Okay, And all these tributaries also constitute or contribute to this Indus river system. So very important things to understand. It is the lengthiest river that is 2,900 kilometer. It originates near the Manasarovar Lake and ends near Karachi because it is flowing towards Pakistan and is one of the longest rivers in the world. The Ganges River System or the Ganga River System. It emerges from the mountains. Very important from the Himalayan mountains only it is actually emerging and to the plains at Haridwar. Okay, it enters the plains at Haridwar. And if you look at the origin place of uh, the, the Ganges, it is the Gangotri Glacier. Okay, specifically the Gaumuk Caves in the Gangotri Glacier is the origin point of the, the Ganges River. And uh, from there it is actually flowing as Bhagiradi and the, the, later it joined with Alagananta at Devapraya. Its tributaries are uh, the Yamuna, Ghagra, Ghandak, Kosi, Chambal, Son and Batwa are the important tributaries of the, the Ganges River and it flows eastward until the Faraka in West Bengal. If you look at the, uh, the, the, the course of uh, the Indus River, it is actually flowing towards uh, the west. That is why it is actually reaching the Pakistan. And if you look at the, uh, the Ganges River system, it is flowing towards the east and uh, it uh, in the West Bengal. Okay. Then it then continues southeast merging with the Brahmaputra in Bangladesh. Okay. So it is actually merging or entering into Bangladesh also. Okay. It is merging with the Brahmaputra in the Bangladesh region. And it is referred to as Mekna in Bangladesh. The name for uh, the Ganges is actually Mekna in uh, Bangladesh and this river forms the Sundarbans Delta, one of the largest uh, delta in the world that is the Sundarbans Delta is formed because of this, the Ganges River and finally it flows into the Bay of Bengal. Okay, So you can see that the, uh, the Indus River it is actually flowing towards Pakistan and it is, in, uh, it is flowing into the Arabian Sea and the Ganges River it is flowing towards the, um, the Bangladesh region and it is actually entering into the Bay of Bengal. The Brahmaputra River System. The Brahmaputra River it actually originates in Tibet and close to Manasarovar Lake. From the Himalayas only you can see that Brahmaputra River also originates. And most of its course is outside of India. So it is also outside of India. The same like we are having the Indus River, most of its course, the Brahmaputra's course is outside India. Its tributaries include Lohit and Dibang. Okay, Lohit and Dibang. And it reaches the Arunachal Pradesh through a gorge and there it is called as Dihang. 
Okay, very important. Three important names are uh, significant here: Lohit, Dibang, and when it enters Arunachal Pradesh, it is known as Dihang. Then in India, it transports a significant amount of water. Okay, a huge lot of water is actually transported through this uh, Brahmaputra River. It has numerous riverine islands and braided channels. Okay, it creates islands. Okay, in its its course, in its flow, it actually creates islands and it is having braided channels also. During the rainy season, it generates extensive flooding. So if you look at the the northeastern regions and all you can see that it, the, it causes a lot of floods in those regions during the time of rainy season. So these are the three important river systems included in the, uh, the Himalayan rivers. Okay, They are Indus river system, Ganges river system and Brahmaputra river system. Why it is known as the, the, the river system? Because it is not only these rivers are included in this, there are a lot of tributaries also associated with these rivers that is why it is known as a river system